Welcome to the Board Game Network. This is James. I'm going to be explaining how to play this game called Pandemic The Cure. Now this is not just an expansion for Pandemic. It is a standalone game. You do not have to have Pandemic, but the concepts are very similar to Pandemic. So if you've played Pandemic, you will understand a lot of what's going on. Uh, but you do need to watch this video to make sure you know all the rules because there are some differences between this and pandemic for one thing there's no map you've just simply got the circle here and the region tokens one through six around the board you again you have roles and you're going to randomly uh, pass those out and you'll recognize those the researcher the medics the scientist the contingency planner containment 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 Specialist, the Dispatcher, and the Generalist. And they're similar to the regular Pandemic and their expansions. You're going to have um, a token or a marker for each color that you take. I'm just going to take those three. You put those in Region 1. These regions are just put sequentially around 1, 2, 3, up through 6. You've got a CDC marker here. You've got a Cure Diseases card. You put your syringe here in zero for outbreaks. On your infection track you're going to start in actually section two. Section one is for like if you're a newbie and you you've never played cooperative games before but I suggest you start at the first space on section two here for normal gamers. You are going to uh, have a reference card for each player. Once again, this gives you a summary of your actions you can take and a summary of the order of play. You're going to shuffle your event cards and deal three face up. You're going to take 12 dice. You've got all of your dice in here. You throw all your your infection dice in the bag. You're going to pull 12 out randomly. You're going to roll those. Any with the pluses you have to re-roll. All the other ones you're going to put on the corresponding spaces. And you just keep re-rolling any pluses. Now if you look at these region spaces, these are not normal dice. The plus counts is, doesn't count as anything in this case right uh, at the beginning of the game. You just have to re-roll them. But you'll notice the four <coughs> shows up on the black die, the yellow die, and the red die one time. But yellow has two fives on it and black has a five. Six, or red has two sixes on it, it has two ones on it, and a four on the six, on the red. So these don't have a standard randomized pattern. Um, so like the blues will show up on only certain regions, the red will only show up on certain regions. Okay, for our order of play, this game plays two to five players in about 30 minutes, and um, you can lose several ways, just like you can in Pandemic. You can lose by the infection rate marker hitting the end here on the skull. You can lose by the outbreak marker hitting the end right there on the skull. You can lose by too many people infected and what that means is you need more dice than what's in the bag. You've used up all your dice. They're all out here. So to start the game, here's your order of play. You roll the player dice and do actions. So each player has dice matching their color. So let's say the scientist is going first. They take their scientist die. And make sure you are aware of the special abilities on each of the cards. And some of them have special abilities on the dice, but it's explained on the card on what they do. And it shows you right here what faces they have on their die. 
So you roll the dice. And you can re-roll this dice as many times as you want to try to get the faces you're looking for. However, if you roll a biohazard, that takes place immediately. And you for a biohazard, you advance the infection rate syringe one space. And so for each one, you would move up on the infection rate if you roll biohazard. And that happens immediately as soon as you roll those. So if you re do some re-rolls and you get more biohazards, you're going to move the infection rate marker up again. Uh, you've got an airplane on there which says fly to any region. So everybody starts in region one. So if you had an airplane, you could fly to any region you want to. If you have a boat, you can go to an adjacent region. So that would be one of the uh, two or a six in, the, in this case. If you have a syringe, you can treat one infection die. So you either from your region to the treatment center. So you could take any, any die that's in your region and put it into the treatment center or from the treatment center to the bag. So you take out of the treatment center and you put it in the bag. So it's important to get them off the region so that you don't have outbreaks, but it's also important that you get them out of the treatment center because when there are epidemics, all the dice from inside the treatment center get put back on the board. So you don't want a bunch of dice in the treatment center. Uh, collecting a sample is this vial symbol. And you put this die and one infection die from the treatment center onto your roll card. So some of these dice have a slash in between them. That means you can do one or the other. This scientist has several with slashes, two, two different sizes with slashes. But here is the collect a sample. So any of the dice that's in here, let's say we did a treatment, put a die in there, and then you also had collect a sample, so you can take that die out of the treatment center with that die, collecting a sample, and then you hold on to that until you try to do a cure. So you actually lose dice for future rounds if you're holding on to them by trying to do a cure. That's uh, phase one, rolling the dice and doing your actions. Phase two would be giving samples, and that would be giving any of these that you have collected, any of these samples you've collected to anybody in your region. You can give, you cannot take. And so the point of giving is to have more people with the same color dice because it makes it easier to cure if one person has several dice than if several people have a few dice of that color. Um, then you phase three is try to find a cure. So any dice you have over here of the same color, you can do this once per turn. Uh, you roll and you try to get a total of 13 or more. Now remember, these dice are not all the same. Some dice have a bunch of sixes or ones or, I mean, so they're, they're skewed around to different numbers. Um, but you roll all of the of a single color you have. If you roll 13 or more, then you found a cure. And if you found a cure, then you take all of that color dice off of everybody's card that has samples. And you put those in the bag. And then you also take any of that color dice out of the treatment center and put those in the bag. Um, but they stay out in the regions. And then you infect regions. And the way infecting regions happens is you'll notice on the infection track there's a number of dice right here printed next to that region or that, that territory on the infection track. So at the beginning you've got three dice. So you would pull three dice out of here randomly, roll them, and then they would get set on 
the corresponding space. Now you'll notice, look at that, there are three sides on a black die that are threes. So that means that is a region that will highly be highly likely to outbreak with black. So an outbreak happens whenever you've got more than three of a specific color dye in the same region, which is just what happened there. And so you would move the outbreak marker up one. You would take anything over three and rotate it clockwise to the next space. And that can cause another outbreak to happen and corresponding around. So you just keep moving the outbreak marker and you move the dice until there's only three of a specific color in a specific region. Anytime your infection rate marker goes past one of these explosions, that's an epidemic. And when it lands on one of those explosions, it's an epidemic. And what happens is all the dice that are in the treatment center, we'll just throw some in there, plus the number of dice that's printed on the infection rate track get rolled so in this case there would be three, plus I would take any that are out here, you would roll them and put them back on the corresponding regions. And so you can turn around and have epidemics at that point. So it's important to not let the dice in the treatment center build up. And any crosses, they get put on the CDC. Any crosses during an epidemic or during the infect region step anytime you get crosses in those two places they get put on the CDC and those crosses are available to use for events anybody can then spend those and it tells you the cost and then it tells you what they do and when you use an event, it's a one-time use thing, it goes under the deck and you immediately flip a new card up. So there's always going to be three events available. So once again, your, your goal is to do four colors, four, cure the four diseases. So once you have rolled a 13 or higher on your dice that you're stored over here on your card, if you roll 13 or higher, you're going to take one of those dice and set them there to mark that you have that one cured. And so you got to cure all four, and then you have won the game. Um, if, however, you uh, run out of dice in your bag, or you have too many outbreaks, or the infection rate has gone too long, then you lose. So that's how you play Pandemic the Cure. Kind of like regular Pandemic, kind of different. It's a die rolling game. So because of that, there's that randomness of rolling dice on what you need to do, but you only have the six different regions to go to instead of 48 regions or 48 countries in the regular Pandemic that you have to deal with. So you have to adjust your strategy differently for this game than you do regular pandemic. Make sure you tune into all of our videos here at the Board Game Network so you can learn how to play the games. Board games, card games, the latest. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, like us on Facebook, 